are you lucky enough yes i think you are very very lucky if you are holding the share of india will housing finance limited a short term trader will definitely know and our friends who are definitely seeing our channel would definitely know how we give target for india will housing finance limited and how the target get achieved in india will housing finance limited so basically what has happened to india will housing finance and we explained clearly all the facts so friends who have not seen our earlier videos it is our duty to tell you because you want to know each and every fact before investing in a share because it is your capital and does not come in easy right the first and the foremost news is that the financial performance was a bit normal compared to the previous year all but according to this market condition and this market economy this type of solid performance is very very good and the second news about i mean india will housing finance is that the ministry of corporate affairs has cleared all the uh, wrong things that has been posted on india will housing finance and it has cleared and india will set asset free for this mca ministry of corporate affairs checking the books of india will housing finance and the third news very 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 important news about india will housing finance with that and before saying this new friends if you are new to this channel then click the subscribe button because you could get our latest updates regarding many shares including india will housing finance so what is the news and what is the news when we were explaining the quarter third performance of alu I mean sorry guys india will housing finance limited we said india will housing finance is all set aside to move about 400 range but it is not only one point the one point is that it is having the court case at delhi high court regarding the public interest litigation now some of my friends may thought oh yes he said that correctly that day so they are having case and the update regarding official update regarding the delhi high court case is i'm going to show you now i think you will be very very surprised after seeing it friends so without wasting now let us see the update now what are they given so it is the india will housing finance is it mean it will housing finance court case they have given so what they are trying to say in the first point itself the petitioner sought time and the new date is on 11th of may oh my god why why they are doing this i don't know because i uh, we were very very positive on the court case it was going against so now this may be very very positive on india housing finance but they have extended the date of this delhi high court case to 11th of may 2020 and what basically has happened in this case guys and they are given that the writ petition is not maintainable either on uh, on fact as law as well as respondent the reserve bank of india and hence liable to dismiss as such and they are given oh, what they are given one explanation clear difference on they are given that rbi submitted a affidavit in the court in the pil matter so rbi means reserve bank of india has submitted its proof affidavit in proof in the court of public interest litigation public interest litigation is a case filed by publics according to another person a big corporate entity or any other persons who are related to is and they have said that the PIL mentioned in the repayment dates such as loans to the RBI entities has no violations of nature or regarding a senior bill housing. So you should know this point has mentioned no violations of any nature, which means the affidavit has clearly said that there is no violation regarding this type of giving loans for regarding India bill housing finance. And the further RBI said this condition and also they said that separately in another matter at the Chandigarh High Court. Oh my God! This is a new court, Chandigarh High Court. They say even that the master mind of blackmailing gang of various petitions on the court given by this on the court on the 27th of states that therefore looking into the allegations of blackmailing and extortion of money from the complaint, I do not find that from the bad provision of FIR it can be quashed even at the stage when the petition was filed. Non-bailable warrants are issued against the petitioner. The anticipated bail on the petitioner was dismissed by the trial court. There are the petitioner travelled abroad and never returned back. Now, so what I am trying to say is that one of the person has given the court case against this Indian housing finance, and they said that uh, that person has been escaped and he has not come even I mean, back to the. Uh, he has gone abroad and never come back regarding this court case problems. And this is in the Chandigarh High Court. But now, if you ask me, friends, it is. in a stage of up booming as well as down booming because if people if take this positive like thinking that all we have stated that there is no violation 
that the RBA affidavit states that as mentioned there is no violation of any nature regarding Hindi or housing finance. So if these friends you take this as positiveness then I think you will definitely buy this share. But on the second hand we see that the gate a new date on 11th of May. So if you think 11th of May oh my god and 11th May anything can happen can I buy no I will not buy if you think then I think you are very unlucky because each and every dip in India housing finance is definite buy. If you are a short term trader, you will definitely have been benefited by trading India will housing finance now till how because I want to show you the proof how we can earn profit in India will housing finance. But I want to show you friends because this trade graph it definitely tells you what's going to happen. And uh, so basically what has happened now is that uh, this is India will housing finance. Now what they are basically given I will show you the graph of price. For the 5 days of 1 month, I will show the 1 month graph friends. As you can see here, first price 307, 315 and came down up to 256. Again 300 rupees and come down. Again 345, come down. Again 360, come down. So if you analyze the graph correctly and if you have analyzed this position correctly, you will definitely have been benefited because as you can see here, when the sharp price was a high range, people used to tend, sell a lot. And as you can see in the price raise, big people try to sell it the high price. And this is what happening in Indian Housing Finance Limited. And I request all your friends to be cautious and ever because I don't know where the price is going to end because the coronavirus impact is being showing on the market a little lot. And I think even if it's come down to 220 or 210, I'll definitely buy this share. If it comes to 200 level also, because I think the if this court case on 11th is going to get very, very clear as soon. I think Indian housing finance will definitely get benefit of this finance and this is about Indian housing finance and see you in the video very soon.